Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 16 of Romans chapter 1. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, But the righteous one will live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of people who suppress the truth in unrighteousness, because that which is known about God is evident within them. For God made it evident to them. For since the creation of the world, His invisible attributes, that is, His eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived, being understood by what has been made, so that they are without excuse. For even though they knew God, they did not honor Him as God or give thanks, but they became futile in their reasonings, and their senseless hearts were darkened. Many people today deny the existence of God, but the reason is suppression of the truth, not a lack of evidence. Because the Lord loves mankind, He has revealed Himself in several ways. We know about God through His creation, as we heard a moment ago in Romans 1, verse 20. By observing the celestial bodies, the earth with its plants and creatures, and the laws of the universe, we must conclude that there's a Creator Such intricate design doesn't happen accidentally. The order, balance, and beauty speak loudly of a wise God who is powerful and generous. We know about God through our conscience, as we heard in verse 19. Because we're created in His image, He's designed the human being with an inner alarm system to provide a general sense of good and evil. That's an excellent start, but God's desire is for everyone to upgrade the conscience by adding the Holy Spirit, who is His gift to those of us who are believers. Otherwise, worldly thinking can override its original guidelines. And we know about God through His Word. While conscience and creation point to the Lord, it usually takes more to bring us to a saving knowledge of Him. That's why God has given us His written Word, making us aware of the gift of His Son. With ample evidence of God's power, character, and salvation, there's no excuse for doubting His existence and love for us.